Hi, my name is Michelle Moore and I'm a microbiologist and a staph researcher. If you or somebody you know is suffering from MRSA or staph infections, there's some critical information you need to know that your doctor isn't telling you. MRSA and staph infections are a growing problem and they're no longer confined to hospital infections. You can actually get these now when you're going out in the community to your grocery store or the gym. Your kids can pick it up in daycare or on the athletic teams at school. This is a contagious bacterial infection. It can be very dangerous and sometimes it can even be deadly. There are over 19,000 deaths per year right now because of MRSA. And there are over 12 million doctor and emergency room visits per year right now because of staph skin infections, which also includes MRSA. Now, MRSA is a really tenacious, hard to treat infection. There's a lot of recurring infection issues with it. It leaves permanent and damaging scars. You see, the standard antibiotic treatments for MRSA and staph uh, are becoming less and less of effective every year. Now, right now, people are living in fear of spreading this disease, this infection to their friends and family members. They're afraid to go out in the community and picking it up. Uh, they're feeling ugly disease. People are treating them like they have the plague. There's a lot of pain and side effects going on with antibiotics and a lot of people just are not stopping their infection from coming back. The trouble with mainstream uh, treatments right now are that there's a lot of misdiagnosis going on with this infection. It's often misdiagnosed as a spider bite, so a lot of them are going unnoticed. There's a lot of uh, inappropriate antibiotics being prescribed, ones that just will not work for this infection. And unfortunately, there's a lot of ignorance and misinformation going on right now about this infection. And antibiotics also only focus on the short-term stopping of your infection. They do not address long-term infection-free living. Now, I learned just how clever and resourceful these bacteria are when I worked as a research microbiologist at a pharmaceutical company. I studied Staph aureus, I studied how it interacted with antibiotics, and at that time in my life I started getting my own chronic infections that antibiotics were just not addressing. I had to discover my own path to health, and it took a multiple front approach to stop the infection cycle. And these were things I never learned about in school. But you see the good news is there's great new treatment options available to you that work and you can enjoy freedom from MRSA and staph infections using these alternative, proven, and powerful methods. And a lot of these methods are actually used in Europe by French medical doctors, and insurance even covers them. They don't have the side effects like antibiotics do. They actually make you feel better. Um, they can be done safely at home, so they're, they're widely available. So you might be wondering if these effective alternative methods um, are so good, how come my doctor hasn't told me about them? Well, there's a lot of reasons for that. Doctors are under pressure by insurance companies to cut costs. They've got to get you in and out quick and they just give you a standard treatment, which don't often work against these bacteria. There's also the drug companies and the FDA. They actually have a financial incentive to make sure you never learn what these alternative methods are. But you can benefit from these methods I use to stop my recurring infections. If you want to stop your MRSA and your infection cycle, you've got to learn some critical things to do. Of these are boosting your immune system. This is critical for long-term infection-free living. You need to get stealth bacteria that are hiding in your body out, and antibiotics will not help you against that. You need to use the proven, effective, and natural methods out there to kill your MRSA, and they don't have side effects like your antibiotics do. You've got to counteract your antibiotic side effects and get your strength back. You also need to learn how to protect your family and your pets and keeping your home safe without using the toxic, chemical-laden uh, cleaners out there that actually weaken your immune system. And there's actually foods that make your MRSA grow really fast, and there's foods that slow it down. You need to discover what those foods are. There's also airborne MRSA. It can actually be transferred from person to person through the air. You need to learn how to guard yourself against that. There's also important precautions you need to take that aren't being told about in the media. 
when uh, you go out to the hospital or you go out in the community to the grocery store on how to protect from getting this infection. You also need to learn how to find the very best doctors so you can have a faster recovery and you need to also avoid critical health care mistakes. So these safe and effective methods are available to you right now and many of these methods you can do at home. There are all, also even medical professionals who can help you use these methods safely. So knowledge is power. Stop living in fear and frustration of MRSA and staff. Get the information and resources you need to know to overcome your infection. So visit the website listed below and discover how you can become infection free and get your life back today.